How's it going, people? I have just been to see the new Suicide Squad film. That's right. Uh, this is, I guess, a sequel to the to Suicide Squad. Um, from by well, when was that? 2016. Yeah, Suicide Squad. Uh, directed by David Ayer, notoriously torn to pieces by the studio and re-edited to become one of the worst films. Yeah, um, not super dope. It was a bit entertaining in bits, but yeah, it's, it's Suicide Squad film was crap. Um, the Joker was terrible and everything. Thank God, though, in this film, we don't have to deal with the Joker. Yay! Um, like I say, this one is uh, directed by James Gunn, They're the guy who bought us Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Balco Experiment, uh, Slither, uh, God, Super, oh man, the, the list goes on. James Gunn, I love James Gunn, um, I love his films, I love his sense of humour, I love the sheer amount of violence he likes to use in, uh, in creative ways. Um, and yes, Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad, sorry, did not disappoint. Um, it is way better than the debacle we got in 2016. Uh, cast are fantastic. We do have some returning players. We've got Jai Courtney returning, uh, Margot Robbie, and oh, what's his name? Joel Kinnaman um, returning, as well as Viola Davis um, as well. Um, they're, the, they're the main characters that return from the original film, so Viola Davis playing um, Waller, um, Joel Kinnaman playing Rick Flagg, um, Raga Robbie as Harley Quinn, and Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang. Um, James Gunn did say in this, uh, before this film came out, that don't get too attached to certain characters, well, don't get attached to characters full stop. Uh, by the, I'll give you a, a little bit of a hint, by the end of this film there are not many of the Suicide Squad that walk out of it. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's insane. It is a really, really good time. Uh, very funny in bits. Um, twisted funny, obviously, um, but very funny. Um, if you like James Gunn's sense of humour, then you'll like it. Um, obviously, it's more extreme than what he did with Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and the violence. Jesus Christ, it is violent. Uh, There's a lot of gore. Um, but it's, it's it's fun. It's, it's, it's a really, really, really good time. Um... There's, um, what's his name now? Um, uh, Savant, played by, um, what's his name? Michael Rooker. There we go. Um, he's kind of like our opening sort of character of the film. See, the, the film, the way the film opens is like there's a big, like, spectacle opening, and before we even get to the actual opening credit, there you see a lot of people die. Um, and yeah, and it's, it kind of shows you a bit more of like you know the um, the staff working for um, Waller and what they're kind of like. Um, if you saw um, what's called Cabin in the Woods, and you know how they were taking bets on who was going to die first and whatnot. Like yeah, you see some sort of things like that happening, like um, like office the office sort of humour sort of thing, which is cool. Um, but yeah, like I say, that open, it opens up with a big action set piece before we get to the actual opening credits and then it um, switches back like in time and shows us how the squads get together. Um, I say squads because there are two squads in this one. Um, you've got squad one, squad two. Um, and yeah, I won't say what happens, but yeah, <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. Um, there's some really heartfelt moments in it as well. Um, like the Rat Catcher 2 character, I, I thought she was she was awesome. Um, she was really, really beautiful as well. I can't, remember, I can't remember the actress's name on top of me, but she was lovely. Um, and she was really, really like the heart. She felt like the heart of the film. Um, Idris Elba leading the squad, absolutely brilliant. Idris Elba is just an absolute legend and always a pleasure to watch on when he's on screen. Like the guy's got so much charisma. Um, yeah, Joel Kinnaman states his Rick Flag is a bit more chilled out now and a bit more comedic, I guess, um, which was good to see. That was fun. Um, Harley Quinn is Harley Quinn, um, and like what you'd ex what what you'd think is like you know there'd be a lot of focus on Harley Quinn. There is. She does get quite a big chunk of um, screen time, but it's not a Harley Quinn film uh, as, as you know you might expect. Um, 
like I say, all the like I said, this the cat the cast of this film is really strong. Um, Polka Dot Man. Um, oh, I can't, I can't remember his his name, either the actor's name. I'm terrible for remembering these names off the top of my head. Like, but yeah, Polka Dot Man um, was again another really interesting character. I mean, it was quite funny how they played on his backstory and stuff like that. But if there was some heart heart to his character, like you know, it was um, pretty cool. That was, um, and oh, one of the big standouts. This film has a Groot <laughs> in the form of King Shark, um, and bloody hell man what a cool character like you really do love this giant shark man um i can't remember what this bloody name is off the top of my head now it's just popped out of my head i literally had it but it's just gone but yeah they call him by his actual name like not king shark um and like yeah it's <laughs> he's got a really cool like sort of thing like he doesn't say much uh voiced by Sylvester Stallone. um he's a little bit simple but that's what makes you love him because he's simple as much as he is a big shark man who's eating people like um, yeah um, so yes once again James Gunn making us all fall in love with a CGI character he's very good at this um, talking of CGI characters yeah his brother shows up as um, um, Alex, Alex Gunn is that his name I think Sean, no, Sean Gunn. Yeah, Sean Gunn is his brother's name, sorry. He shows up, obviously, doing his good old motion capture thing, like he's Rocket Raccoon in, Gro in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. He's the weasel in this one. Um, and, again, the weasel, again, is one of those characters. Like, it's it's a fun character, but, yeah. Um, and also, he's, Sean pops up, uh, again, um, playing human character in the Bellevue scenes as well, which is quite cool. Um... The, the the trailer gave it away who the big bad guy is of, of this film. Uh, the big bad is Starro the Conqueror, um, which is which is a very interesting character to see them put on to film because he's a giant fucking pink and blue starfish with a giant eye like <laughs> like you know, and he spawns little starfish that you know attach to your face and you basically become part of the hive, a hive mind that saw him, um, and you find out that you know like he's been. He's hiding in, on this island and there's this army that are trying to use him as a weapon and stuff. Um, but considering the, the, you know, what the character is, it was really well done. Um, the um, the CGI looked great for it. Like, um, Ratcat again, uh, Ratcatcher 2, talking CGI characters as well. Ratcatcher 2's little rat, um, her little main rat who has little red harness and stuff. Oh my god, that rat is fucking cute, man. Um, but yeah, that was, that was sweet. Um, there's a, um, oh yeah, John Cena as Peacemaker. John Cena, as much as he fucking, like, I don't know what happened with the whole Fast 9 thing with the whole apologising to China for Taiwan, because, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, John Cena's always always funny. When he when John Cena does comedy, he's funny. Like, he's a funny guy. Um, and yeah, he's, he's, he's Peacemaker. He's a, a good character. Um, yeah, they, they're going to do a series with him, I think, HBO series, so something to look out for. Um, yeah, there was, I, I felt that the characters got a lot of development. There was like Everybody seemed to get a good amount of time, uh, well, for the main cast anyway. Like, cause like I say, a lot of people die very quickly, so they don't linger on them too much. Like, But, um, yeah, um, I won't say who dies, though. Um, so, yeah, um, again... Pacing, brilliant. Um, I really enjoyed it. I I didn't feel bored at all. Um, the the story kept me going. Like I was involved, was engrossed with it. Um, the, it's definitely James Gunn's style of filmmaking. You can tell by the way it looks and everything. Um, and it's yeah, it's it's just a it's just a fucking good time. Really fucking good time. I really enjoyed it. Um, there are two end credit scenes, so stick around for those. Um, yeah, I think that's about it then I think I can say on that one yeah so yeah two end credit scenes so make sure you stick around for those um, so now then out of stars what am I going to give to the Suicide Squad I'm gonna give it four stars yeah definitely a four star film from me um, really enjoyed it like I say good fun um, and it's the Suicide Squad we deserved yeah after the 2016 shit like it's definitely the film that I wanted to see as a Suicide Squad film. Anyway, so that's my review on the Suicide Squad. Um, I am doing karaoke geeks tonight. I'm just—I'll keep looking over here because I need to grab. In there. 
This, there we go, yes, on Latino Slant tonight because it's Friday. It's Karaoke Geeks night. Woo, Karaoke Geeks. So, um, yes, tonight we've got competition, giving away t-shirts and mug and stuff. So, uh, one of the, uh, the coveted Bud Boy mugs. Mm. Um, so, yeah, so be sure to tune into Latino Slant for that. I've got a ding a card up there, so click on the card. Um, also, again, links in the description. Get involved with us at Karaoke Geeks. Have a good time. Subscribe to Latino Slant. Become a member. Trust me, you will not regret it. It's all good things. Anyway, um, I've talked long enough now about this about this film, and that's enough of me plugging for things. So yeah, I hope you're all having a great day, and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye.